Good day everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to edit mockup on your smartphone using Photopia. Now, first thing you should do is to download uh, a PSD file. What is the a PSD file? A PSD file is a Photoshop document that only Photoshop can edit. But the good news is that this Photopia can also edit Photoshop documents. So if you want to download uh, PSD uh, files, you go to Google and search for whatever mockup you want. Like, let me just say, Flyer, flyer mockup. But mind you, if you are searching for this mockup, make sure you add PSD download or free download so that it will give you a PSD file. Make sure you are downloading a PSD file. If you want to know how to download PSD file, you can let me know in the comment box. If you have tried and you couldn't get it, just let me know in the comment box. Now I've downloaded my PSD file. Then what I'll do now is go to photopia.com on my browser. Make sure you have a good browser. I'm using Google Chrome. I've not tested it on any browser anyway, but I think it should work. And make sure you have data on on your uh, mobile phone before you can use it because it's using data let me just uh, say it like that now you have this this is the interface uh, this is the Photopia interface we have where you uh, where you uh, manage your tools the menu bar blah 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 this is layer where you manage your layer you can close it from here because let me tell you, let me tell you this on some device when you first of all open photopia.com, it comes like this. Now, what's next? You go to file, then you go to open. Then when you open, you go you, you, you locate the PSD file you downloaded. Some uh, PSD file comes in zip file. Make sure you have an extra tool in your mobile phone to extract it. You extract the PSD file out from the zip file before you can be able to import it to photopia.com. Now, when you go to file, you go to open, then you locate your PSD file. Now, when you open it, it comes like this, depending on the mockup you downloaded. This is the one I downloaded, and if you need it, you can check the link to download it from my uh, from the description. It's in the description below, you can check it and download it from there. Now that we have this, how do we edit it? You know, we have two layers here. We have the first page and the second page. That is, if you want to import any design, you have to import two uh design here now how do we import it you see you, you manage your layer from here you see this l a y it is shooting of a layer so this is where you click then the layer for this particular mockup will pop out, pop out now we have left page and right page cover color pages color this folder here all the mock-up, shadow, stuff, whatever, whatever. It is what that uh, some to this particular uh, mock-up here. So I think you don't need to mess with it. Can you see? You don't need to mess with it if you want a perfect mock-up. All you need is just to import your own design. Now we have left page, we have right page. This is the left page, this is the right page. Now, let us do the left page first. This left page, what you do now is you double click on this small guy. 
you can see where I'm pointing at. I'm not pointing like this. I'm not pointing like this. I'm not pointing like this. I'm not pointing at this. I'm pointing at this small guy here. This small guy. You double click on it. Pam pam. And you wait for it to pop out. Now we have this. Can you see? Am I doing it by clicking on this eye here? Now we have this. Now, how do we import our own design here? You go to file again. This thing is kind of slow, depending on your device anyway, and your data, and I mean, and your mobile uh, network. Now, you open and place. When you open and place, you look at the uh, particular design you want to import as a markup. I'm not talking about the PSD file now. I'm talking about the design you've designed and you save that is either PNG or JPG. Now you have to locate it. Now when you click on it, you see something like this loading. That means that means it's loading. Now you see this one, you can just hide it for you to see what you want to edit. Let me just pull out this. You know, I have my uh, design here imported. I've imported my design here and I clicked on it to make sure I'm editing the right uh, something. So now you can just click on this guy again to uh, to collapse this one so that you can see what you want to edit. When you click on it, it will add the, it will add the layer again. Then you can click and drag. Now let's say you want to transform this particular image here. You go to transform control here. Can you see? And you can transform from here. Click and note, then drag as per your choice. Now when you think okay, it's okay, you can check back from here. Now when you check mark, you go to file, then you go to save smart updates. Not save as PSD now, save smart update because we are editing a smart update here. Save smart update. Then when you click on save smart update to now that we have saved as smart object, you can go to uh, this particular first page here, first document here, you go back there because that is our mockup that we opened initially. Now you can see our first uh, page has been edited now. Now let's go to the second page. It takes the same process. You, you open this or, or either click on LAY here which means layer then you know you remember we edited the left page now we go to the right page now you remember what i asked you to click this particular guy you double click then you have this again you repeat the same process that is you go to file open and place not open alone open and place that is you are importing an image then you locate your image now you allow it to load depending on your mobile network and how heavy the image you are importing is. Now that we have it here, I think this one fits. I don't need to edit it again. Just click on this check mark, then go to file. Then save as smart object. Remember, save as smart object. Now that it is updated, you remember where to go? This is the right page, this is the left page, and this first page is a real mockup. Now you click on it. Then we have our second page edited. Now it's done. Then how do we save as our image? You go to file and you go to 
export as if you want to export as png or jpg svg GIF, pdf or even more but i prefer to save as jpg yeah depends on your choice you might choose to save as png then you have this if you want to set the quality to high or low it's over to you then when you choose to uh, when you choose the high quality uh, you have something cool then you choose save now you can check your device it will be there thank you very much for watching this video if you are yet to subscribe please subscribe for more thank you very much have a nice day